What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. As you know, we just wrapped up a couple of reveals the other day. If you guys were unaware, we're going to discuss them all in this video and talk about it, tell you the things I like, I don't like, and whatever. But I feel like these figures got a lot of flack, especially some of the comments that I was reading all around, and we're going to cover all of that. And I'm going to tell you what I think about these figures and see where you guys stand on it yourself so you guys can let me know all those things down below. However, if you guys were unaware, just last night at AEW Collision. Also, today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I know everybody's situation is different, obviously, but if you have a father, if you have a relationship with your father, enjoy that. Make the most of that. Be thankful for it, grateful for it, and take advantage of it. I have a father, and I'm also a father of two, so nonetheless, AEW Collision's debut was last night, and it was the return of CM Punk to the ring. Big deal. Great show, by the way. Even though my man Wardlow lost the TNT Championship. Besides the point, let's get into the news. So, Jazzwares posted up this teaser the other day. I think it was the day before or two days before AEW Collision's debut. And they were teasing this figure. And they put up this collision and everybody was speculating on what it was and who it was. And it actually was found out pretty quick. Like, because it actually, what I did was screenshot it. And then I zoomed all the way in as far as I could. And then I screenshot it again. And then I went into my apps and I brightened it all the way. And you could clearly see the silhouette. A very familiar silhouette. And and the silhouette was that of Samoan Joseph. Samoa Joe was the figure that was revealed to us. So I knew it the day before, but it was the cool. It was cool to see the figure finally revealed, and we wanted to check it out here. So taking a look at this Samoa Joe figure, man. A lot of people were dragging this figure. You know, this doesn't look like Joe. This like this looks horrible. This looks horrific. The hands are tiny. He looks horrible, terrible. What all the different things? This figure was getting a lot of flag, but I feel like I'm in the minority here when I say that I actually like this figure. I'm actually enjoying this figure. If you guys were unaware, Mattel actually released, I think, like five or six Elite Samoa Joes. We had the Elite 43. We had the GameStop exclusive in, like, the yellow. It was, like, the Destroyer exclusive or something like that in the yellow and black. Then we had the Elite 56 in the green and black. Then we had the Survivor Series Elite in the blue and black. And then we had the two-pack with the Rey Mysterio, which is arguably his best one with, like, that head sculpt that it had. Very similar to this one. And then we had the Elite 64, which was also an upgrade from the Elite 43. So we had, we had quite a bit of Samoa Joe Elites out there but everybody knows that those elites do not pose the best. If you've ever tried to fed with a Samoa Joe, you've ever posed him around, he's not the most posable guy of all time. Aesthetically, though, the figures have looked fantastic, but I am one that I think this figure is going to move around great. I'm hoping that he feels like an unrivaled figure and not an unmatched figure. Like, I hope he feels buttery smooth in the joints. And it'll probably be a lot like a Miro figure. You know, the Miro figures don't look the greatest of all time, even though I like the, the look of this figure, but I hope it's like the unrivaled 10 Miro, which is a lot better than the unmatched. Series 1 Miro, but this Samoa Joe figure is pretty solid. I like the way it looks. I think it's going to pose around great if it's anything like a Miro figure, and you got the towel in there, which, I, like, I don't think it's cloth, but it kind of has a cloth look to it in these images, and these the people were telling me that the head sculpt looked nothing like Samoa Joe. I don't think that's really accurate. I think that it's not, like, perfect, but this seems to be a prototype to me. This doesn't look to be the final cut of a Samoa Joe figure. Like, the head sculpt isn't, again, it's not a perfect rendition and he's missing beard hair and sculpt and I think he was actually clean shaven at the event of this and if that's the case I'm either gonna have to get somebody to sculpt a small beard on there or maybe I'll paint like a five o'clock shadow on there or something because I think adding a beard would help this guy tremendously but I still think the figure looks good and if you guys were unaware Samoa Joe looks like my Uncle Tim so me and my brother we've always called Samoa Joe Uncle Tim because he looks like our Uncle Tim so anytime Samoa Joe comes out on TV I always say oh look there's Uncle Tim and all these different things so that's a running joke so anytime Samoa Joe post something, you need to, to put Uncle Tim in the comments. But everybody was dragging this figure, man. I mean, I got a lot of negative comments and feedback on this figure, so I'd like to know where you guys stand on the figure. It is Target exclusive, by the way. It's a Target exclusive Samoa Joe action figure. It's going to come in the red foil, which is very cool because now both the, the upcoming Target exclusives are in red gear, and they have the red foil, so they look really aesthetically pleasing, similar to Sammy Guevara. So maybe that's like an ongoing thing in the AEW Target exclusives. They're going to be in red gear moving forward. Like, Adam Cole's in red gear. This Samoa Joe's in red gear. But moving on to our next figure, a lot of people were speculating that this figure may have been canceled. And we're 
we're looking at the Ring of Honor Luminaries Unmatched Series 8 CM Punk figure. Now, you guys know we are on AEW Unmatched Series 7 with Death Triangle and Hook and Thunder Rosa. So that's the set that we're on right now. However, in Series 8, a lot of people were worried that the Ring of Honor Punk was discontinued or that it wasn't coming to fruition. But since CM Punk was just on hiatus there for a little bit, he was out like, what, 10, 11 months? His figures were just, I guess, paused momentarily. Maybe that had something to do with the, with the long gap in between figures. I'm not entirely sure, but it does look like we are going to be getting the Ring of Honor Punk. You have him in the yellow trunks here. I actually like the way this figure looks a lot. This is like my favorite iteration of Punk, outside of like WWE debut Punk. Like, of course we love our Summer of Punks. We like different value, you know, different versions of Punk, but if I had to chalk it up, I would say that this and like debut, like first year of WWE, CM Punk was some of my favorite work from him, but a lot of people were also dragging this figure. Like, oh, Head Sculpt's going to be trash. You know, these Luminaries collections suck. Look at Owen Hart, look at Jericho, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. Like, I, are those fair critiques? Maybe on some instances. You know, it wasn't the Owen Hart gear that we wanted. The Jericho figure was easily like the worst unmatched figure they've made so far. So, I guess it does have some substance to it, but the Sting Luminaries collection was great, even though it really wasn't a throwback. So, it'll be interesting to see where this punk lands. But nonetheless, whether it's the head sculpt sucks or whether it's good, hopefully like from the neck down, it'll be good. Like, I like that formula. It feels really good in hand when you, like, you know, we have the dog collar match match the blood and guts ringside exclusive figure it felt really good in hand so i'm imagining this is going to be the exact same figure with a different head sculpt and different paint apps and deco so hopefully this one will feel good and uh, again it is an unmatched figure so i'm expecting it to have really tight ratchet joints which is unfortunate but maybe we can figure out a way around that i just feel like unrivaled figures are way more buttery smooth when posing them around compared to unmatched figures you guys can leave me your thoughts on that down below as well but the yellow shorts look clean as hell i think this figure looks sweet and we all know that ring of Honor figures are coming soon. It was teased with the Jazzwares Vault. Maybe we'll have more info on that at Comic-Con or, or something like that. I would imagine at SDCC, maybe we'll get some feedback on that, I'm sure. I think Jazzwares and AEW did a really small booth last year. I imagine they're going to do a similar booth this year. Maybe we'll get a better, uh, you know, a better San Diego Comic-Con exclusive compared to that Brody Lee we got last year. And so maybe we can get just some really cool stuff going on and they'll show off some newer figures. Maybe they'll reveal the Ring of Honor line, maybe like Series 1 or Series, the first two series similar to, to how they did the Unrivaled line back in the day. Maybe have them on display with a Ring of Honor ring and something like that would be cool with Claudio and Brian Danielson and the Bucks and Cole. Like, oh my god, dude, that's going to be such an amazing day. Cannot wait for San Diego Comic-Con, unfortunately. I will not be going this year unless anybody out there can somehow get me a badge. I, I, I'm just throwing out, you know, I'm just throwing a Hail Mary at this point. Maybe something will land. Maybe he'll catch it in the end zone. We'll see. Somebody's down there, damn it. Maybe we got a, a Julio Jones, Megatron, DeAndre Hopkins. Somebody's down there. Somebody yeah, just catch the damn thing. Let's get a touchdown. Let's see if we can get out there. But I feel like it's much too late. I'm not putting too many. Uh, it's like we're hawking it up from the opposite 20 here. Throwing an 80-yard bomb to the end zone. But nonetheless, the coverage will be live and nice here on the channel as we get, you know, developing stuff throughout the day and we'll post up all of our thoughts and all those different things, man. But that is going to wrap it up. I wanted to touch on the Samoa Joe and CM Punk figures. If you guys missed our news from the other day, we should have a lot of figures coming in in this week. Elite 103, top talents, all those different things. If you guys are interested in that, definitely stay tuned. Turn on your bell for notifications. But that is going to wrap up this AEW news video, man. Huge shout out to our patron supporters over on Patreon. Always appreciate those guys. Shout out to the MDT patrons. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member yourselves, click the link in the description below. Always greatly appreciated. But follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We're getting the hell out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and happy Father's Day. You'll never be